Hi guys, let's talk about title tags. So what is a title tag? A title tag is the first thing that we see when we search a result on Google. So I'm just going to type in here, Webflow SEO. So here are search results, and you can see that we've got all these results here by Webflow. And the first thing that we see here is the title tag. Now you can see these title tags are short, concise, they've got um, keywords, and they're descriptive. So they're under 60 characters, and each one of them, these here have the word keyword SEO and Webflow. So I'm going to show you how we can add this to our Webflow project. So inside in Webflow, we're going to go up to our page, and you can see here on the right-hand side of our page, of each of our pages, static pages, we've got a little anchor, and we can check out the settings. So click on that, then we can scroll down here, and we've got some SEO settings. And here is your title tag. So I'm just going to quickly add in a title tag. So what is your title tag? What is a title tag and why is it important? And you can see here that it's popping up um, in our search results preview. It's under 60 characters and it is, it's working quite well. So if we double this, um, you can see that we'd end up with an ellipse. So if it was too long. So that's we want to make sure that we don't make these title tags too long. So now I'm going to show you how we can, if we click here and save this, a title has been added to, a title tag has been added to our um, static page. So I'm going to show you how to add it to a collections page now. So down here in our collections page, we can click on the anchor. And in the same exact same place in the SEO settings, we've got our title tag. So I'm going to add in the exact same title tag to our um, collections page. But the problem with doing this is that this is going to be, this is static. Now this is going to be the exact same across all of our pages. Now we could use this to our advantage if we wanted. Um, for example, like since this is going to be about Webflow SEO, we could add in the first words Webflow SEO. And that would be across all of our pages. And then when we, we could add a space or something, and then we can go over here to this little purple add field and click on our name, for example. And now we're adding in dynamic content that is taken from our CMS database. But we've come across a problem. Our title tag is too, our name is too long and we're ending up with this ellipse. So I'm just gonna save this here and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I would fix this in Webflow. So we go into our CMS items, go into the one that we're trying to, uh, we're a collection we're working with, click on the settings, and we're going to add in a, uh, a text field here, and we're going to call this title, title tag. And we're going to give this a character limit of 60, which is what um, we want to limit the, um, the title to. I'm going to click save, and then I'm going to save this collection. Now we're going to go into the individual blog post and scroll down here to our title tag and I'm going to add in the um, the title that I would like to, to be shown on our um, uh, in our Google search. So you can see here that we've got our 60 character limit and this particular title is 53 characters so it's just um, it's just coming in under. And we're going to save that and then we're going to go back to our collections page, click the anchor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this, which we worked in, and just add in our title tag field. And there you have it. We've got our dynamic title tag. And now every time we create a new page, provided we put in our title tag here, we'll have a dynamic title tag. Okay, thanks very much.